If you've ever considered taking up chess, now's the time to make your move. David Pogue shows us why. The pandemic reduced most professional sports to shadows of their former selves. But it's done wonders for one game, maybe the last one you'd ever guess. It's chess. A boom is taking place in chess like we have never seen, maybe since the Bobby Fischer days. And it's happening all because the pandemic has driven people indoors and they're looking for something incredible, constructive, educational to do. Maurice Ashley is a chess grandmaster and a commentator for chess championships. People have this misconception that it's slow, it takes a long time, it's boring. Why would you want to watch grass grow? Yeah. But chess is not like that. Well, not all the time like that anyway. I'm about to wrap him up. No, no, no time soon. Forget about that dream. It's definitely not like that in New York City's Washington Square Park, where you can play a pickup game for five bucks. Lights out. With old timers like David Solomon Reed. Oh, your move. He's been playing here for 40 years. When you guys go back and do the editing, I want the heading to be, I am the last lion of Washington Square Park. The last. If there's a boom in chess, they're not seeing it here. The players just aren't getting the same traffic they once did. A good four or five hours yeah. before the pandemic. Now it's like slow because a lot of tourists are not allowed to come here as far as the flights coming in and out. So now it's down to what on a good day? Oh God, I think I squeezed $200, 150 $200 on that. So where's the boom? You probably saw this coming. It's online. By June 2020, the number of people joining chess.com had tripled from the previous year. The signups grew by a million people a month. Um, I couldn't really see my friends as much, so I was kind of looking for that competitive advice um, to continue in my life, and you know, I found that through chess. One of the new members was graduate student Richard Hamilton. The idea is you're, you're playing total strangers? Yeah, you're playing with, it's, it's kind of cool because sometimes it's like Iran or you know, Albania, some countries that the average American maybe uh, <laughs> couldn't even point out on a map. But the chess explosion isn't just people playing. Oh my God, it's the most beautiful mate I've ever seen. Oh it's also God, people watching. Oh, oh, oh my no! God. Oh, you you know? Know? Chess has been around for over a thousand years and people are just starting to watch at explosive rates now. As a teenager, Alexandra Botez won six national titles in both Canada and the U.S. Today, at 25, she makes a six-figure income playing chess live on Twitch, a website where you watch entertaining gamers play video games. And G3. But in the pandemic, chess is one of Twitch's fastest-growing spectator sports. Oh my gosh, sell me! It's very high energy, you know, you're yelling when you lose a piece, you're excited when you win. Sometimes people will put bets on the line and it's much more interactive and you feel like you're actually watching a kind of sport. At one point, you actually threatened to shave your eyebrows? Yeah. I need to get 2300 because this ain't gonna be a good look. And I said that if I don't reach a certain rating goal in a one month period, I would shave off my eyebrows. It was very motivating. <laughs> She got to keep her eyebrows. Welcome, everybody. I hope we're all ready to behave because we got CBS Sunday morning filming things today. And along the way, she's amassed a huge following of fans. About 200,000 people a day log on to watch her play chess. Thank you so much, Del, for the five months. I appreciate it. And a lot of them pay $5 a month to support her channel. Becoming an online chess star requires more than good chess chops. You have to multitask like crazy. You start crying like a little baby. You trash talk, you joke for six to eight hours at a time. It's not traditional chess. Um, the ones who are the best are also incredible at chess and also incredible at entertaining. On one hand, Maurice Ashley can't wait for the return of chess tournaments played in person. Chess players want to sit across the board. They want to see the player they're playing. They want to shake hands. They want to go after the game and hang out and talk about what fun that was, maybe go over the game where they made mistakes, and then maybe go have a brewski. But overall, he's thrilled to see how the internet has brought this ancient game to millions of new fans. So this is not a uh, pandemic bubble that's going to pop. Oh, no, no. Pandemic bubble for chess? Not at all. 
This is a pandemic rocket ship that has taken the game to new levels.